Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I am on a recordathon, so we got content coming out. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Today's reading, though, that you're going to get is how do people view you um, based on your social media? So how do people view you based on your social media? Um, you're going to you're gonna have four options to choose from today. Before I get into which option is which, thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you all who are subscribed to my channel. If you're brand, brand new, please hit the sub button as well as the bell notification because I do drop videos weekly. Also, to those of you all who keep me booked and busy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, to book a private reading, coaching, same day rewalk and read or priority reading, please check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. You all, I have some extra goodies on my website uh, that you all can purchase um, in regards to sage bundles and things of that nature. So go ahead, check that out uh, for any of your, you know, peaceful metaphysical materials. I have that on my website. Uh, as well as I am trialing, trial, trialing a different type of reading right now. Um, I'm going to try out a text reading, a text reading where you get uh, a certain amount of questions for $25 that I text you, you know, text you back. So I'm going to provide the text number now. <laughs> I'm a little scared about that one, but, but I'm trying it out. I'm trying it out. I don't know how long it's going to be around. So don't ask me if you don't see it on the website or on my Etsy, you know, then it's not there yet or it's not going to be there afterward after I trialed it out. But I want to see how that works. Uh, so, yeah. So that. But anyway, um, become a member. Uh, find me on Patreon and find me on or my website or YouTube because I am rebranding the membership section and I am starting, you know, I'm starting at the beginning. Uh, so we are definitely doing sexy messages over there. So hot, buttery passion. Go ahead, join the tier. Get you some hot, buttery passion. I'm gonna have something um, up there. It's gonna be up there. Y'all gonna see it in the community section. So go ahead, go ahead, go over there and get your life, okay? Get your life and get your jollies. Uh, so yeah, so go ahead, join hot, buttery passion. Uh, it is definitely going to be updated um, as of today that I'm doing this reading. So so yeah, so I don't know if I'm dropping this reading prior to me updating. Patreon or, you know, the what have you, but please do go over there and yeah, or join on my website or join here on YouTube because all of the, I'm trying to think, can I put that on YouTube? I don't know if I can put it on YouTube because YouTube has some really strict um, guidelines now, y'all, but uh, join on my website or join on Patreon, rather, I, that one I do know. Join on my website or join on Patreon for those very sexy messages. Uh, the first one is going to be your next sexy encounter. And it will not, it will not be censored, okay? And I think maybe you can do it here on YouTube. You can join the uh, membership here on YouTube. I'll probably do like a, I don't know, a, a cheaper form because it'll be a very edited Okay, it'd be edited. It'd be edited because I don't want to risk my channel getting, you know, taken down or striked again or whatever, whatever they're doing with the new guidelines. But anyway, let me get into our options today. So I'm going to hold them up, y'all. I'm going to hold them up. Oh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and threads at Wandering Sparrow Tarot. Um, y'all, my TikTok is going up. Your girl has become a TikToker, okay? TikToker and YouTuber, but I will always be a YouTuber, 100%, first and foremost. That is, the, this is, this. y'all are my kind. This is my platform, but my TikTok is going up. So I guess I'm both, but I would always consider myself a YouTuber. Yeah, with other platforms. How about that? You know, but go ahead, run my Instagram up, y'all, because people ain't believing that I'm not, for real. They don't think it's me. Uh, but let me give y'all your options. So we got four options today. How are people viewing you on social media or how do people view you based on your social media? So you got option number one, option number two, option number three. And I'm up. As soon as I hold these up, I'm going to uh, <laughs> point at them for y'all. OK, so you got four options to choose from. This is going to be option number one, option number two, option number three and option number four. So option one, option two, option three, option four. Again, option one, option two, option three, option four. Now, keep in mind, these are all general messages. Take what resonates. Please leave behind what doesn't. 
all in all vibe out and let's get into our reading you all just today i discovered that well not just today but i have three tarot decks that i got in japan last summer that i have not opened or used because i had planned an unboxing video that i never got around to so i think i'm just gonna open them up and use them they're vintage out of print decks that i just really want to get to and then one is a japanese deck well it's it's a regular tarot um deck but it's it's also you know like the messages are in japanese well, i think they're also in english too because i can't read japanese but the fact that it's also in both i'm like really hype i'm like i gotta use it i can't believe i haven't used it in a year like what am i waiting for okay don't save outfits don't save tarot decks but let's see so option number one let's get into it how are people viewing you based on your social media now i have to blur out this card because once again i don't want youtube going blah, 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 blah. but your two cards get effed get effed is the f word and jealous now the card get effed is about being a bit of somebody who's a bit you don't take mess from nobody. That's what get F me in this particular deck. And the deck that I'm reading from, it's a little Oracle deck, um, y'all, that I got last summer. I had been using this one. Got this last summer at this cute little like vintage shop out in um, Cape Girardeau, St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, I was there for the fourth. Anyway, it was a cute little visit, cute little, you know, small town. And we did the whole little like small town vintage thing. And I came across this deck. Um, the roast iconic uh, Oracle deck. I always just, I, I usually call it the iconic roast, but it's the roast iconic Oracle deck. And I like it so much. Uh, I wish it was more cards in that deck. It's only 30. But anyway, so the card in this deck, um, the get effed card talks about, you know, like, like you, uh -uh, you take nothing off of nobody. You're probably someone who's always exerting your opinion on social media, you know, but like, but about the big stuff, like activism, like, I can't believe people, or people are so stupid, how dare people, rah, 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 bah, 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 you know, like you boxing on the internet and stuff like that, but you do have something to say, you're probably somebody who's very intelligent too, you know, and people see this, like, you don't mind speaking up for the little person or for yourself, because you believe in, you know, the rights of others, and then we have jealous, now here's the thing, you got people that are watching you, that are maybe peeping your life and feeling a little bit jealous about it you know feeling like you're a little bit privileged or or maybe like you know what what problems do you have like on the one hand i feel like your energy triggers people because you're triggered a lot by people but on the other hand i feel like people also are looking at you like mm. excuse me now here's the thing the people that are looking at you kind of like mm, stank and whatnot are people that i feel definitely know you or had some type of closeness to you at some part of your life. So this will definitely be people from your past or people that basically you have um, just kind of put on ice in your life. But let's see more. Universe, spirit guides, and interesting with channel messages. Thank you for the channel messages, spirit. For those who choose option, who, those who chose option number one, how are people viewing them based on their social media? Give me two cards, spirit. For those who chose option number one, hardworking, eight of pentacles in the upright. For those who chose option number one, how people view them based on their social media. Two of swords in the upright, uh, ace of cups in the reverse. Some of you, you relocated, like you don't live in, in your old hometown or something like that. Some people view you as you thinking that you're better because of that. There's definitely some jealousy here. How do people view option number one based on the social media spirit? Give me one more card. We have the three. Uh, see, I told you some of y'all move. Five of swords in the upright. Three of, uh, of, of wands in the upright. You're distant. People feel like they don't feel a closeness to you. Like your energy, though people who are watching you know you, you feel like a different person. You feel like somebody that they used to know. I'm hearing... Now you're just somebody that I used to know. You feel like somebody that they used to know, that they used to get along with, or that they used to be around. For some of you all, you're more likely to be from a small town. That's what I'm getting with that one. Like you're probably from a small town or whatnot. And these are people that are looking at you like, oh, so you moved to the big city. Oh, you live in a bigger city now. Oh, you moved over to, uh, you think you all that, eh, you know? And it's like, well, I was all of that before I left, so. Mm -hmm. You know, but this is what people are thinking about you. And once again, you're not one to back down from a fight. Not that you're like combative, but if somebody steps to you, it's like, okay, let's let's do this, you know? Or 
if you have an opinion on something, a strong opinion on something, you say it. People view you from your social media as hardworking. I feel like there's a lot of posts surrounding work and surrounding, you know, like just kind of like, you know, things that you're passionate about, things that you're working on. This could even be fitness and health, you know, like like you just look like you just are intentional about life and you work on yourself. Uh, we have the two of swords in the upright. Not that people don't feel like you're indecisive or anything, because two of swords is about making decisions. but it's like you have, I don't even want to say split ideas because everything kind of feels very cohesive, but you have different things that you're a part of, different ideas, different ideals, you know, different ways about yourself and how you go about the world and how you think about the world. You also travel a lot with this three of wands energy too. So you may not have just moved. Maybe you moved away and moved back to your hometown or, or whatever that is, or, but basically you don't stay in one place long. You, and that may be travel. So you may live where you still, where you grew up born and bred, but you travel a lot. You're very cultured. You see the world. And this is why you have all of these opinions, because it's like, I know a world different from this. And then you have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. People definitely get the portrayal that, you know, there's a lot of self-love there. But the Ace of Cups, when we're not pouring it out because we have so much to go out, we're pouring it out. We're also pouring it in. We have so much that we also pour it in. So they see you as someone who protects yourself very much so. You love yourself very much so. Boundaries is very important to you because the moment somebody step over them boundaries, you must be an air sign or you got an air moon, okay? That's Leo. Um, I'm sorry, not Leo. Ah, shout out to the Leos. This is Leo season when I'm doing this. But that's Libra, uh, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah, they see you pour a lot into yourself, whether it's knowledge, self-care, just about the things that you're preaching about. You could be a preacher, too, a minister, you know, and I do have people of the community watching me, okay? Um, you may be somebody, yeah, like, but you're constantly pouring into yourself. You're pouring into yourself, and this is why you're able to pour into others. And it's also, too, why you get annoyed quickly when people come at you with some stuff that don't sound, you know, that sound less than smart because you're like, look, I ain't got no time for this. Go ahead. But yeah, but people view you as very intelligent very well-rounded, very cultured, nothing to play with, okay? Um, and at the same time, because of that, you got people from your past or people that maybe you're not as close to anymore who are very jealous because it's like, I wish I could re represent myself the way option number one represents themselves. So that's what I got for you, option number one. So please let me know how you all feel about that in the comment section below. Uh, book a private reading, coaching, send every walk and read or priority reading. Check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and threads. I just uploaded some new stuff on TikTok. I got to get my stuff uploaded on Instagram. Uh, follow my other YouTube channel, One Rose Road too. I got to be able to take care of that one. But this one is the one that this is my baby, y'all. Um, and follow me. Uh, go to the membership section on my website and uh, or on Patreon for the sexy read that I can promise you sexy read and look and it's uncut. OK, it's un I'm using a sexy deck and with the sexy messages it's uncut. Uh, so that's what I got for you all. Let's move on to our second option. Option number two. Option number two, you have privilege, baby. Let me tell you. When people see you on social media, I don't care if you faking it till you make it. Sweetie, it is the, what is it? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. You are always on vacation. You are always on somebody's boat. You are having a good time. You are fine dining. Hell, even if you just like frolicking through the park, you make that look luxurious because people are like, how are they just going around getting coffee all randomly in the middle of the day? It's 10 a.m. And they just try a lot of line. They've been posting 19 stories from a cafe, you know, and one of them little fancy cafes too, you know, in, in the downtown area or the town square, wherever you live. You know, it's like, uh, -uh who are you? How much money do you got? Look, you got your family even thinking like, so what's really going on? What you not telling us? Because uh -uh. <laughs> some people looking at you like, OK, so you got money for that. You in Nordstrom right now, but you can't pay me back my, my $20. That's what I'm getting with that one. So people feel like you are very privileged. You live a very privileged life. Baby, you are far removed. It's like, okay, you know, like it's, but see, it's also, it's also giving down earth. Like, cause I feel like sometimes when we hear like privileged, we think, you know, stuck up, uppity and whatnot, but no, it's not giving, you know, it's not giving bougie. It's giving sweet, cute bougie, you know, like down home bougie, but not like bougie as in like pretentious or, you know, like you think you're better than somebody or that type of energy. However, though, it is giving luxury, baby. Like, and I don't care if you're wearing something that you bought at Target right now, which actually, you know, Target a little pricey. But I don't care if you're wearing something that you got from Target right now. And Target do be snapping off. Anyway, 
this is not sponsored by Target, but it can be. Thank you, universe. Um, but yeah, it's like, wow, what, what is your life? What do you do? How did you get so lucky and blessed? And you may be looking at this feeling like, damn, like there's a lot of stuff about my life that I wish I could change. I wish I had a better life. People don't see that. You got to start counting your blessings. That's what this is because people see you as very blessed with that privilege. So let's see. How do people view option number two based on their social media spirit? Give me two cards. How do people view option number two based on the social media? We have the devil card reverse. I told you, detached, detached, detached. You live in your own world, detached from reality, detached. You, you, it's above you now. Mm -mm. You got nothing to do with me. Mm, take it up with the Winston, Winston. Like, <laughs> You are just like, you are just so like removed from it all. You got people who know you that are in awe of like, where do you find the time to just like this? I feel like there's literal pictures of you on your social media frolicking through fields of lavender. Like it's so majestic. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it is luxury. It is, it is luxury. And in in, not just in a Louis Vuitton Gucci type of way, it is time. Like, honestly, in real life, our biggest luxuries, like we talk about money, but you can always get money. If you're alive, you breathe and you, you, you willing to do whatever we can get, we can get money any type of way. It depends on your morals and your ethics on how you get your money. But time you having an abundance of time, baby. That's a luxury. That's a luxury. Time and health, two biggest, the two biggest luxuries. Time, health, especially the mental, two biggest luxuries that people don't look at. If you got nothing but time and great health, and there's some people like, well, I must be the most luxurious person in the world. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And now you add your money on that. Now you got the world's luxury, you know, stampled on that. And once you got the first two, it's it's easy to make the other one. I know it makes. I know. I know. We live in a society to tell you it's hard to get money. No. It's easy to make the other one once you got the other two. So work on those other two, which are free, and you'll have the third, and that's money. But yeah, you're very detached. You're very detached. You're stress-free. You definitely got people that wish they could have your stress-freeness. That's what I'm getting with that one. Universe for guys and ancestors. What do people... What do people view? What, how do people view option number two based on social media? Maybe. Two cards. People view option number two based on their social media. Look, <laughs> unrestricted. You got nothing but time. You are on flights. You, you're very positive. You know, you're very positive. There's something very youthful about your energy. You know, like you're maybe somebody that it's like, oh, look, they're volunteering, but you got the time to volunteer. Oh, they're doing some type of humanitarian in initiative. Oh, you work with children. It's something very light and cutesy and very like, I just. I just exist, you know, like people are like, and it's it's a fun loving energy too. It's a very lighthearted energy. You get people that go to your social media just to see something different from the, from their own life. Just, just to convince themselves that, see, I know her, I know him. And we grew up in the trenches and look, they live in the best life ever. They just want, they look at you as inspiration. Uh, how do people view option number two? Give me one more spirit based on their social media. Of people, I feel like some people watching this, like, I don't want this to end. Like, seriously, that's how people feel when they get around your energy. How do people view it? How do people view option number two based on their social media? Seven of pentacles, like I said, uninvested. <laughs> you are just removed. It's like you're an influencer amongst the people that you know. You're an influencer amongst the people that you know, uh, or people who come across you are immediately drawn to you. It's like, oh my goodness, this person is just majestic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with that one. So you all, please let me know how you felt about this reading in the comment uh, section below. Give this reading a like, comment, share, subscribe, book that private reading, coaching, Sandy read, walking read, or priority reading. Check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Become a member on my website or Patreon. I am getting the sexy stuff going. The sexy readings are up and moving, okay? Um, and go to my website for new products that I have um, un unleashed you know, make sure you check back. If they're not up there at the time of me putting up this reading, because I'm really trying to get some content up on my YouTube, you know, because I've been making y'all wait and stuff while my schedule been all over. Um, then please note within 24 hours of you watching this, it's up there. It's up there. Uh, let me see what else is going on. Y'all, I'm over here trying to check. My, I just put something up on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok. But yeah, book that private reading. Coach Sandy, every walk and read priority reading. Check the pink on below. So the description box below. And let's move on to option number three. All right. So option number three. How do people view you based on your social media? You got love and gaslight. 
you might be somebody who is very religious, maybe very self-righteous. You don't have to be religious to be self-righteous, but very self-righteous. Always got a message now. And people feel like it's a crack of bull. I'm just going to be real with you. They like, uh-uh, I know you. I know you. I know you ain't talking about indecency when you ass clapping on the boulevard, baby. I know you. Like, it's one of those type of things. People feel like you're someone who is very performative. Maybe a little fake, maybe a little phony, you know. And it's like, I feel like there's, and I'm not trying to roast y'all. So take this as you take it. If you don't like it, go to a different message. But it's like people are kind of laughing too. Like, who do they think they are? Like, it's one of those type of things. It's like, you get a lot of hate watchers. I'm going to say that. You get a lot of hate watchers. More people are watching you to see you mess up or to see you, you know, almost to try to compare you to themselves. Like, well, at least I'm not them, you know, than they are in admiration. So let's see. How do people view option number three based on a social media story? Give me two cards. How do people... We have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. You're somebody who has children. You're very about your children, your family. But there's something judgy about your energy. Now, I'm not saying you judgy. I don't know you, okay? But people around you feel like you're judgy. Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors, thank you for the channel messages. How do people view option number three based on their social media? How do people view option number three based on their social media? Four of pentacles in the, in the upright. Now, when it comes to home and your home life, you got it all under control. So I can't say you doing bad in life. Like, it's not that. But I do, it kind of, now this is me talking to you. This, me, this, ain't, this ain't about them, you know, forget them, close it up. This is me talking to you. The energy that's coming out in this reading and the perception that people have of you, it makes me wonder how satisfied you are about your life. I see marriage. I see children. I see a home. I see a good job here. This is the energy that I feel. Everything is under control. You are the queen of your castle. Whether you're a male or female, queen of your castle, king of your castle. You, you, It's you. And your family, you might have a small family too. Like, you know, like a little small pool of people. Yeah. Y'all good. And people love you. The people who love you, they love you. But there's other people where it's like, it's just, it's combative. It's, it's anger here. And I just wonder how satisfied are you with your life? Are you doing everything that you want to do? Yeah, you went off and became, you know, a success and da da this da da that, but are you satisfied? Are you truly living the life that you say this is what I want to do? That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the five of cups in the reverse. There's an optimistic energy about you. You know, people can see that. There's an air of positivity here, definitely in regards to how you were able to, you know, get yourself together. But there's a very isolating energy here, and once again, it goes back into a, 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 a gaslighting type self-righteousness that comes off give me one more spirit universe spirit guys and ancestors how do people view option number three based on the social media how do people view option number three based on their social media we have the four of swords in the upright um, that's giving me the energy of like calculating, like you're just sitting there lying and thinking. Some people may feel like you're a little bored, to be honest. And this is why maybe you hollering across the internet that once again, the life, though you love the people that's in it and the life that you cultivated, but at the same time, it's not fulfilling enough because people feel like you're a little bit bored. And then we have the page of swords in the reverse which is given an energy of a bit removed and, you know, like people kind of like they're peeping you, but they're not really paying attention. It's like, okay, whatever. There goes so-and-so yelling about stuff again on the internet, you know? So it's like, they don't, they don't feel like you're somebody that's harmful, but at the same time, it comes off as a little annoying sometimes, though they do feel like, you know, like I'm proud of them though. I'm happy that they get, you know, look, look how far they've come, but people do feel like maybe you're a little bit bored, you know, maybe, you know, you ain't got nothing else better to do. Maybe maybe life just feels a little mundane. And so you come on the internet to yell at folks and pretend like you better. That's not me saying that. It's, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger type of, that's what I'm getting. That, 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 that. But that's what I got for you option number four. So you all, please let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. Give this reading a like, comment, share, subscribe. Book that private reading, coaching, sending, rewalking, read, or priority reading. Check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. And go to my website. I have new things that I've uploaded. You know, if you don't see it, it's within 24 hours because I really want to get this out. Same thing with Patreon. Go and join the Hot Buttery Passion tier on Patreon um, because it's sexy stuff up over there. 
go ahead and we 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 doing new things and changing the price. So go ahead, go over there and let's get into it with our last option, option number four. Ooh, look at us. Option number four, you got cult leader. Look, I already know you. You an influencer. You might even be like myself. You have a platform. You have people that 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 look to you for guidance. You are an influencer. But see, the thing about the cult leader is you. It may more so be toxic than than positive for some of you all, for some of you all. For others of you all, it is very positive. Like I said, you're somebody like myself, you know, you might be a you might be a reader or diviner of some sort, you know, just whatever. Whatever it is that you do, it doesn't even have to be spiritual, but you have people that look to you, that follow you, that are like, okay, cool, 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 cool. You know, and you get a lot of attention. Even if your following isn't as as big, but it's it's concentrated. You got a lot of people that look after you, that see you as some sort of an authoritative figure. Like, you know, you're the oracle. You have the answers. Um, so you have very heavy influence. And that's what people, people definitely kind of like really gravitate to you when they gravitate to you. So that's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see. Universe Spirit Guides and Answers Think for Channel Messages for those who chose option number four. How do people view them based on their social media spirit? Give me two cards. How do people view them based on their social media spirit? Give me two cards. Ooh, we have the four of wands in the upright. Somebody who's very committed, very passionate, you know, very about their beliefs, but not harsh about it. You know, it's like, and I feel like that's what draws people into you too, because it's like, oh, they really believe in it. They stand on it. This is them, but they're not hurtful, hurtful, hurtful about it. That's what I'm getting with that one. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups is an energy that talks about unavailability removed, but it's something about you that's detached but you're still very invested. Once again, you have a gift a gift of gab. You are able to talk to people. You are able to charm the draws off of folks. Charm them up out them. <laughs> charm them up out their panties. That's what I'm here to say. Um, but like you are able to charm people, period, point blank. Like people are enamored by you. That's what I'm getting with that one. You're enamored by yourself. You're like, wow, that's me. Um, but it's something very down to earth, very humble about it, you know? Not humble as in I don't think I'm worthy of that. It's like you have a lot of confidence, but it's like I you too, you too. Oh, da, da, da. You're very motivational. You you can like you can convince somebody to go, you know, run a marathon in the rain. It's like you're the person that they want to talk to the team before they go out and win a championship type of energy. You're that person, but it's radiating outside of you because you believe in yourself. For some of you all, some of them, it's almost not it's giving traditional cult leader now for some of you all. You might have people that look at you kind of like in a godlike energy and it's like, no, 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 no. I'm still human, you know, but it's just that people find themselves very drawn to you. Just like they can't be mad at you long. They can't be mad at you long. But you you know what this is? And this is the highest vibration that exists, y'all. You're authentic. That's it. That's it. You're authentic. Even when people want to hate you, it's like, damn, what up? <laughs> you are authentic. And that's why people love you so much. And you walk in the light of love. That's it. How do people view option number four based on their social media spirit? You're somebody about action and you're very fun, loving and free. That's what I'm getting with that one. Fun, loving and free because the Knight of Wands just kind of charged. They just, he just does, you know, it's just, blah, let's just do it. You know, the Knight of Wands just charges in, does what he wants to do, but he's running on passion. And that's you. It's like balls to the wall. Let's just jump off the cliff. We'll see about it later. You know, like, ah. If we meant to have a parachute, God would throw us one from somewhere. We good. Come on, let's let's do it. You're very fun too. And people really love that about you. And once again, there's something very youthful about you and very active about you. And people really enjoy that. You remind people of a part of their life that they've maybe abandoned, you know, and you bring that out of people. You make them want to live that again. That's what I'm getting with that one. And then you have the Empress. What I tell you, people are over here like it's almost worship like energy, but but not because it's like I know that they're human. I know, I know, I know, but they can't help but just admire you. Because there's something so loving and beautiful about you. And once again, it's authentic. It's it's I'm hearing like Keith Lee. Like people can't help but like Keith Lee, you know, the 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 the, the fighter, the 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 once MMA fighter, now food critic, beloved human being. Like you can't help but you know admire Keith Lee and his family and just you know to be like, I'd love and light to all y'all. Beautiful. Because it's like that man is so sincere, so genuine. Not saying he can't turn up because y'all. <laughs> Y'all seen that BET clip where he was like, I, I know what you're doing, fam, but hold off. And people had to remind the internet that y'all know 
he was a professional fighter now. I'm like, I would not try it. I'm not saying he's going to pop off, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't poke him enough times for him to get mad because he's still a human. But at the same time, it's like, you know, his, at least what he comes off as his social media appearance comes off as very truthful, very sincere, very loving, very kind, you know, as close to what we envision of, you know, how we want people to be to one another. You know, it seems like he tries to live his life like that. And you see it in his wife and, you know, other people that glimpses that you see from his family, they all seem to have this energy about them. So it's like, you know, so that's what people are seeing about you. It's like, you know, you have so much influence. You have the Keith Lee effect. Okay. And it's like, people can't help, but, but like you, and even in times when they're like kind of upset, it's like, damn, Okay, fine. I'll get over it, you know, but people just love you. And yeah, that's what I got for you. Option number four. So please let me know how you all felt about this at the comment section below. Look, I had to even look at this one before I left. Six of pinnacles, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. They just love you. Soulmate energy. You're truthful. Boom. Like I said, now some of you all just could be a little toxic, but whoever you influence, you influence. But that's what I got for you. Option number four. So you all, please let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below. Give this reading a like, comment, share, subscribe, book that private reading, coaching, Sunday read, walking read, or priority reading. Check that pin comment below as well as the description box below. And yeah, I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Make sure you follow me um, on TikTok, Instagram, and Threads, and my other YouTube channel, Wonder Show. I am. I got to get over there. I got to get over there. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to get over there. Um, also, what else did I want to say? Patreon, the sexy read. If you don't see it when I upload this, because it's definitely getting up there, then it's coming very, very soon. So don't you worry. But that's what I got for you all. So you all take care. See you all in the next one. Peace and blessings, y'all. Goodbye.